All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. Apologize for any audio glitches. My mic is beginning to fail me after eight years of service. So going over a subject I frequently mention in many videos, and that is the degradation of the production capacity of oil fields when they are shut down for long periods of time, which at first sounds counterintuitive to a lot of people. However, when oil fields are offline, for a particularly long period of time, like say those in Romania after being damaged during World War II, or those in Syria, which have been offline for quite a while now, they actually still experience a gradual decline in production capacity. Granted, not as much as when they are producing, if they have passed their peak, that is. But anyways, to show you a very simple MS Paint illustration, because I'm cheap, you have an oil field. Oil fields occur underground. Beneath quite a bit of earth, with quite a bit of weight above and around it, obviously, keeping it under high pressure. And let's provide a escape route for the liquid under pressure. Things flow from high pressure to low pressure. They flow across that gradient. And so, providing that escape route, the oil will begin to flow up the wells, being driven by that high pressure that it's under. And as it goes up and out, that lowers the density, the concentration of oil in that immediate area surrounding the spot where that particular well has punctured the system. And so oil driven by the force of pressure flows then from other areas nearby to that area of lower pressure flowing across that gradient, and also of course then flows up the well to the surface continuing the pattern. However, when a field is shut down, when you cut off those escape routes, then the only thing remaining to happen is oil flowing from higher pressure areas, from higher density areas, into the lower concentrated areas that you've left behind, flowing into and equalizing pressure and density with those areas around the well puncture sites, between those areas and the areas it flowed from, until it's all nice and settled, evened out. And thus, when you come back and switch those escape routes back on, the overall total pressure in the system is now less, which leaves the maximum production level, the capacity of the field, less. Since you broke that initial constant flow gradient, that initial cycle that you established of first puncturing the pressure system and having the oil immediately in that area flow up the well, driven by the pressure around it, and then oil flow from the surrounding higher pressure areas into that lower pressure area to then be further driven by the pressure up the well. Well, now the system has settled and evened out at a lesser total pressure gradient. So now when you switch everything back on, the field will come back to life and start producing again, but at a lesser amount as there is less total pressure driving things up. Again, said decline in their production capability is not as much as a field's actual usual terminal decline rate. The usual terminal decline rates for oil fields after passing production peak or reaching end of plateaus are between 2-6% to 6 per year, whereas the rate per year of degradation of a field's production capacity while it's shut down, while it's offline, usually is usually in a range of 1-3% to 3 per year, and trending towards the lower half of that, usually around like 1.5% per year or so. But that's that, so thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. Go subscribe to my Catch channel too. But no matter what happens to me, may God bless and protect all of you. And I will see you all around next time.